Hello, hello, and today we're going to be talking about the many sides of Blackbeard and how he is somehow able to have multiple devil fruits. This is just my personal theory on the situation. Uh, feel free to take it with a grain of salt, and if you disagree, you can comment down below. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start this off here. So, in One Piece, we, we do know that there is people with multiple personalities. One example of this is Cavendish uh, from the Dressrosa arc. He has an altered personality as Habuka, which not only changes his facial expression to be almost unrecognizable, but also that his fighting skills and his movement speed are greatly increased, almost as if it's a whole different person. And it's my personal theory that multiple personalities in One Piece is similar to having multiple souls in the one container. Whether that be of siblings or um, a soul of past life. And I'm assuming that Blackbeard has something like this as well. Because as we've seen, there's multiple sides of Blackbeard. At times, Blackbeard can be very ruthless. At times, Blackbeard is shown to be actually very afraid of his death and aware of his own mortality at times. Whereas other times as well, he is very proud of and strongly believes in his dreams in a similar personality trait as the way as Luffy is about his dreams. And that could possibly be due to the D in his name. And um, it's my personal theory that Blackbeard is somehow either he had siblings at one point and killed them off at one point, or that he was the only surviving sibling of a, tra a tragedy of some type. And either which way, he has three different souls within his body. And we know of souls in this scenario, he somehow consumed or absorb some of them because we know souls don't necessarily leave unless they need another container like the souls of devil fruit users they leave the body and go into a nearby fruit so if blackbeard was somehow able to have multiple souls within them each individual soul could have its own devil fruit ability and capability and i'm assuming that later on in this in the series that black readers are gonna obtain a zone, a zone type as his last one and I don't know whether that'll be for his more active dominant personality I would assume so because it would give him more uh, defense against physical attacks which is pretty much his one weakness at this point yeah but anyway I just figured I should talk about that because I do, we've seen, there is evidence that multiple personalities are a thing in One Piece and that they do carry out different characteristics. Like, like I said with Cavendish, the other care, his other side is so much stronger and faster and is actually malicious and bloodthirsty so that could be part of Blackbeard. We've seen him very bloodthirsty at times and just ruthless at times. And other times he's just completely scared of his life or just happy, content and just doing whatever he wants to do, you know? And it's also, I'm also going to note here, Cavendish and Habuka are able to communicate with one another and sometimes are able to come to agreement of certain terms, whereas Cavendish is control when he's awake and the other side is when he's asleep or passed out. So maybe Blackbeard was able to conversate with all these personalities and they were all able to agree upon the one goal. Maybe they all have such a strong will to become the most powerful and to dominate over the earth cruelly just because of maybe the terrible circumstances that came to be that all of them ended up in that one body. And it's even mentioned early on, obviously, as we all know, that Zoro and Luffy referred to him and Blackbeard when they first met them as Day. Therefore, we can infer that there is multiple souls or that Luffy and Zoro were somehow able to sense multiple presences from within Blackbeard. And that would be it, that would fully explain why he's able to have multiple devil fruits. There's also another theory going around about how he's able to do that, and that's due to his DNA and him being one of the people that has the word the, the D in their name. I can go on explaining how that would work in a later video if you feel like if you feel interested in that. But yeah, this is just my little take on that. 
what do you guys think about it let me know down below if you disagree or have something to add definitely comment down below i'm just as excited as everybody else to figure out how black readers are going to do that and i'm interested to see what his next step will be i'm gonna guess that it's gonna be his own type just because it would make sense he already has a logia a paramecia his own would be the last one and they would have all three types not to mention that I can go into detail too about how the battle is going to go because I already have a feeling about how that's going to work out. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.